Uh, Jeff, your team has won the GMAC the last uh, two years. You have some of those runners back, and I know that uh, injuries play a big part in any sport. But uh, just a brief preview of what potentially you could have uh, as you seek a third straight title. Uh, we do have a, a number of our athletes coming back from last year and uh, excited about those girls. Also looking forward to a few freshmen that have had some success in high school running. So uh, we're optimistic and a lot of things can happen uh, throughout the course of a season. Uh, but we are uh, optimistic and we'll keep working hard to get better every week. Last year in the conference, a lot of underclassmen were the successful runners and in a way you really weren't the predicted favorite to win your second straight title. Um, tell us a little bit about women's cross country in the GMAC and who else you know might be competitive. Yeah, I, th I think it's getting better each year, and the teams are always uh, striving to get to the top of the heap, so to speak. So, uh, Ursuline had a good team last year, and they're young. Trevecca Nazarene had a very good team last year, and they're young. And uh, you know some of the other teams I'm not quite as familiar with about who they brought in recruiting wise, but uh, I'm sure everybody's going to try to get to the top, and uh, we'll be working hard to get there. This year's GMAC is in Owensboro, Kentucky. You've said your team has never run there. How big of a deal is that in cross country to uh, run on a course that you're not familiar with, and what would you do to prepare to run in this meet? Uh, it, it's not the most important factor. There, there are advantages to having run on a course. You know the ins and outs of the course. You know where the mile markers are and any steep hills or sharp turns. And uh, we will run the course the day before. Um, so yeah, you know, especially the home team. They're, they're protecting their turf and they know, you know all the intricacies of the course. And so there's a little bit of an advantage to it, but uh, not something that uh, I would worry about.